بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم علما so the next thing we need to understand the bgp protocol when it is used when it is applicable when it is not recommended to use so there are a couple of scenarios you need to you need to understand before you decide to run bgp first let's see when we can use bgp now bgp is more appropriate if you are a transit autonomous system number which means if you are working as a service porter then it is mandatory right because if you are a service porter can you survive with just ospf it's not possible because the ospf is not designed for inter areas so we have a bgp so when you are service porter you are you are going to be the transit network because you are providing connectivity to your own customers and you are connecting them to the rest of the internet rest of the world so which means you are acting as a transit means you must run bgp so without bgp you cannot do routing so you have to run bgp that's must so if you are a service porter then obviously you will be the transit which means you must run bgp so service porters must use bgp compulsory uh, but whereas if you are not a service porter let's say i got my organization this is my organization abc and i'm not service porter okay i'm not i'm not a service porter i'm not offering any service porter or internet services to my customers but there are some organizations still they prefer to use bgp on some selected routers like generally what they do is they will be having their own routing protocol like let's say here we run ospf or ehrp or any routing protocol to communicate within the as they still run bgp on selected routers so let's say there are two routers where they also run bgp so generally the border routers we can say connecting to the service borders so they they do run bgp in these scenarios where they have a multi homing environment now we have something called multi homing multi homing means where you have multiple exit paths now if you want to go to internet or outside your network outside means anywhere you know it can be internet or it can be your data center or it can be a remote organization but whereas wherever you want to go you can go outside via two connections that's what multi homing so if you have just one connection we call this as a single homing which means there is only one path but whereas when you have two exit paths two or more we call this kind of connection as multi homing environment so where you have a multi homing environment and where you want you want the data leaving or entering your as should be manipulated we call this as path manipulations now one kind of example you can say like let's say in my company there is a data center let's say there is a data center where all my servers let's say hosted and let's say these are the public ips whatever the public ips they are hosted now what i want is i want because normally how the traffic will go it will use any one as a primary and other one as a secondary which means if the primary fails secondary will be used so i don't want like that i want all the traffic which is going to my internet should go from service port 1 and all the traffic which is destined to my data center or maybe to my servers hosted somewhere on the data center should go from service port 2 so we call this as path manipulations so when you have multi homing environment you can also do path manipulations and in this scenarios most of the medium size to big size organizations even though they are not service porters they still run bgp because they want to manipulate the paths so they don't run bgp on all the routers remember that so they run on selected routers maybe two maybe three whichever connects to the outside network maybe three maybe four not more than that okay so this is one uh, scenario where you will be seeing the bgp implemented in in the in some of the organizations even though they are not 
the service borders. So these are the two use cases where you see the BGP. Now, again, you also need to understand when BGP is not appropriate. You should never use BGP, especially if it is a single home AS. Now, single home means single exit path, just like you got this is my organization and we got one ISP connection and we call this as a single homing environment. Now, in the case of single homing, there is only one exit path, right? So when you just have one exit path, is there any path manipulation required here? Because anyway, you have to go from the same path, right? So there is no way you, you actually change. So there is no point in running BGP here. So even though you run BGP, then you know it's like unnecessary resources. You just use simple default route, that will be sufficient for you. Okay, so that's one case where you should not use BGP and you don't really bother about path manipulations, then you don't need BGP, simply use static default routes. And also you need to consider other things like if you have a lack of resources, like memory or the CPU processing uh, limitations, or even if you don't have a proper understanding of the BGP filtering and the path selection process, like limited knowledge of uh, BGP implementations, then again, it is not recommended to run BGP. Because you might think like, okay, BGP configuration is very simple. I just go and say configure two, three commands, and I can start run BGP between my router and the ISP. But you need to understand when you run BGP, the service border will maintain millions of routes. The service border maintains uh, millions of routes on the internet. And you may end up installing all these routes in the routing table, which can make your router down. So generally, in some service border cases, they do some route filtering in BGP, probably, which will deny these prefixes from entering into that. So if you don't have a proper knowledge of the filtering, and if you remove the filtering without knowing, or if you just simply go and configure the BGP, or even if you are just running a small 2800 series router or you know small even 7000 series routers which may not be enough to maintain those routes on the internet so typically if you have limited resources limited understanding of the bgp filtering and the path selection process again it is really not recommended to run bgp so these are the use cases where we use bgp we use if you are a service porter and if you are running a multi-home environment where you want to do path manipulation, these are the two use cases or the scenarios. And again, if you have single home environment, you should never use BGP. And also you, you need to avoid the BGP, especially if you don't have uh, resources and if you don't have an understanding of the BGP path selection process or the BGP route filtering options.